If you want to know how to be more classy and sophisticated, you're probably curious about the do's and don'ts of elegant people that make them graciously stand out from everyone else. It turns out it's the tiniest details in their behavior that make them appear so refined in every situation. Hello there and welcome to Luxury Formula. Today, you're going to find out the 10 behaviors you'll never see elegant people do. At the top of the list is poor table manners. Perhaps the most telling sign of refined and well-mannered people is their dining etiquette. You would never see elegant people push their plate away once they finish their meal, nor would they impose on helping the host clear the table. Instead, people with class know how to place their utensils on their plate to signal the host whether they're done eating or are just taking a break. Classy people also politely ask the host first if they can help put the tableware away instead of immediately forcing themselves into the kitchen. That's intrusive behavior, and it's rude and inexcusable. When the host says they don't help, don't impose. Be a gracious, well-mannered guest. The second entry of the list is leaving the table in the middle of your meal. Now, a bathroom emergency is excusable. And when it happens, it's best to go before dessert. But when nature is not calling, the classic thing to do is to stay at the table until you finish all courses of your meal. Also, when you leave the table, don't announce to the entire room that you need to relieve yourself. Instead, simply say, excuse me. It doesn't matter if you use more modest terms for a toilet such as restroom or lavatory. These words won't make your announcement dignified. Just excuse yourself, get up, and leave. Next is bringing your coat inside the restaurant or an event venue. Honestly, this behavior is not only inelegant but also a bit weird. No wonder classy people don't do it. Why bring your jacket or coat inside when you can put it in the cloakroom? What makes this behavior interesting is it was displayed by Anna Wintour herself at the 2018 London Fashion Show. To make matters worse, she brought her coat inside and sat on it while sitting next to Her Majesty, the Queen herself. Look at her coat just dangling there. Really, Anna? You know better and you can do better. Oh. And note that she's wearing her shades indoors. Anna once said that her iconic black sunglasses help her hide tired and sleepy eyes. But in the book of elegance, that doesn't justify wearing them indoors. Another thing you will never see elegant people do is a tip for you dear ladies. Never bring your big, bulky bag when going out with your girlfriends. Listen, ladies. The key to being sophisticated is modesty in how you speak, behave, or choose a bag. When you go out on girls' night, keep things classy with a handy, fashionable clutch or a tiny evening bag. Take a look at the royals, like Kate Middleton. In every function, gathering, or event she attends, she keeps her outfit modest by carrying a small, elegant clutch. Think about it. Have you ever seen her wear shoulder bags? Your totes and leather bags are for when you go to the office or a cafe to work. Remember, fashion and function should go together. Never bring anything more than you need. A chick Glittery clutch is enough for an evening of fun. The fifth entry of the list is being rude and distasteful. Throwing snarky remarks at someone is a big no-no to classy people. Being snarky makes others feel uncomfortable and awkward. 
which is something you'd never see a well-mannered person do. Have you seen Jennifer Lawrence at the BAFTAs in 2018? Outstanding British film in honor of Alexander Corder, and who better to kick it the whole evening off than the hottest actress on the planet, soon to be seen in Red Sparrow, it's the ravishing Jennifer Lawrence! Hi, that was a bit much, but thank you, Joanna. <laughs> It's an honor to present. Perhaps the presenter's intonation made Jennifer react that way. But still, nobody would want to be on the receiving end of Jennifer's passive aggressive statement. And nobody would think Jennifer was being classy in that scene. People with class always take the high road and be the bigger person in any situation. They never let others dictate and influence how they should speak and act. Elegance means having full control of your words and actions at all times. Number 6 on the list is speaking too loud in public. This inconsiderate behavior is a serious pet peeve for many people, and it's especially annoying when it happens in public transportation. Have you ever experienced wanting to get off a train or a bus so bad when someone starts talking on their phones loudly? Surely, you're not the only one. Elegant and modest people would never let the public listen to their private, intimate conversations with friends and loved ones. They also don't listen to online business meetings through their phone speakers. People with class have admirable public manners and etiquette, and they understand the value of privacy. Perhaps you've experienced being in a subway and overhearing someone else's conversation about the guy or girl they hooked up with last night or what they talked about in therapy or why their parents kicked them out of the house. No matter what these inelegant people talk about, you're always left stunned, awkward, and embarrassed for them. And you're also a little curious why they'd reveal such sensitive information to the public. So ladies and gentlemen, please don't take phone calls on speaker, unless you love it when people get intrigued and stare at you. Which brings me to my seventh point. An elegant person doesn't stare. Staring at someone is rude. It makes you look like you're up to something, making people feel uncomfortable and maybe even terrified. Staring with an open mouth makes it worse, and you'll look ridiculous doing it. Not very classy or elegant at all. However, if you're naturally curious and inquisitive and still want to act elegantly, do a little glance instead of a stare. Glancing is a more fashionable way of being snoopy. You know, Sirosi? Aside from not staring, also avoid prying. There's nothing elegant about being in someone else's business. If a person doesn't want to talk about something, stop poking them with questions. Respecting a person's privacy is solid proof of elegance and modesty. If you're loving this list so far, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified when new videos are uploaded. Alright, going back to the list. The eighth thing you'd never see elegant people do is showing the soles of their shoes to other people while sitting down. There are many ways to cross your legs, and some of them expose your soles to the people around you, which is very inelegant. Consider this. What if you stepped on dirt or chewed gum? Sure, you were careful when you were walking, but would you really take the risk of showing messy souls to others, especially when they're eating? How rude and inconsiderate is that? So, when you feel comfortable crossing your legs, 
try doing it this way or this way to make sure your souls are hidden. Next on the list is over-explaining. People with class respect the economy of words. They keep their statements succinct and on point because brevity is classy. Also, they respond promptly. For example, when a friend invites them to a party, classy people would never let that friend wait for months for a response, even if they cannot attend the said event. Also, when declining invitations, classy people don't bombard the host with excuses. They never over-explain themselves to anyone. So, when you want to decline an invitation in an elegant way, thank the host for inviting you and say how much you regret not being to attend this time. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. You're simply showing gratitude and politely saying no. A short and sweet response like this is respectful because you avoid wasting the host's time. However, if the invitation is for a wedding or a birthday party, it would be classy if you send your best wishes or greetings along with a gift. Gift giving is an elegant and thoughtful gesture that any self-respecting lady and gentleman would do. It shows the host that you sincerely wish you could be there with them but can't due to very important matters. The tenth and final point on our list is chewing a piece of gum in public. And guess who was caught doing this unfortunate mistake? The husband of fashion designer and Spice Girl Victoria Beckham, David Beckham. And he couldn't have picked a worse place to chew gum. At the church during Prince Harry's and Meghan Markle's wedding ceremony. We can't even watch this clip without our hearts breaking for David and Victoria too, given how much elegance she shows. Because one, for a man of his status, sophistication and class are expected. And yet, he makes this mistake. Two, photographers were all hyped up for the royal wedding. So it was hard for them to miss David Beckham as he marched toward the church chewing gum. It's probably one of the most epic, elegant fails in modern times caught on camera. Oh, David. And those are the 10 things you'll never see elegant people do. What do you think of this list? Sound off in the comment section below. If you want to watch more videos like this, Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Stay fashionably elegant, ladies and gentlemen, and watch out for the next video.